Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. We have a fun one. We have the ColourPop Times Animal Crossing collection. I was so excited to see this one. Animal Crossing is a game that I love. I personally play. So I do an eye look with all four of the mini eyeshadow palettes. I show you each one of the lip crayons. I go fully in depth on the collection. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have the blue backdrop today. If you follow me on Instagram, this looks familiar to you. But I could not, for the life of me, get my little lever to come up. Shane has it drilled to the ceiling, and he's not home. So this is what we're working with today. No problem, though, because I feel like you're actually able to see the collection a little bit better with it being a clear backdrop. So ColourPop released their Animal Crossing collection. This is so fun. It is going to be available on the 26th. I know I just did a ColourPop video yesterday. You guys are probably like, Molly, what are you doing? But I got this in PR and I was like, I need to try this out. I'm so pumped about this collection. And since I got it so early, I wanted to make sure I got the review up for you guys so you could decide if you wanted to purchase it or not. If you have not seen this collection yet, we do have four new little mini quad eyeshadow palettes. So they're very small, little tiny little minis. I have mine in the bundle set, so I'm sure you can purchase these all together, or I believe you can purchase them individually as well. I'm not positive because I don't have the information in front of me. The one that I have on my eyes right now is the Nook Ink, but I show you a tutorial in a minute with all of the palettes, so I want to each show you each one of them. So like I said, these are quads. So the first one we have here is What a Hoot. And this one is a tribute to the owls in the game. I love the packaging on everything. I think it's so cute. We have like little fossils here on the back, which go very well, obviously, with the owl theme. If you are a player of the game, you know you have to bring the fossils to the owl to get them assessed, that whole thing. Here are swatches of the What the Hoot palette. Each one of these quads does have a glitter in it, which I was not that excited to see. If you do not like glitters, and I don't think these quads are for you, because like I said, there's a glitter in every one of them, and you would be really limited to only the three shades if you weren't going to use the glitters in the palette. So I was a little bit disappointed to see that they were glitters just because I know everyone doesn't love them. I personally don't always love using them because I feel like they get everywhere. They're quite messy, but we do have those in here. So that one was the What's a Hoot palette. I'll go ahead and show you guys the next one. This is the Five Star Island palette, which I think is so cute. So it's a mod to Isabelle in the game. This one's really pretty. It's a pink palette. I think this one would be gorgeous for a Valentine's Day look. All of the palettes do have a mirror. They have the cute little Animal Crossing characters on them. So they also do have the names on the back. Okay, and here are swatches of the Five Island palette right here. I really love this color story. I think it's fun that they added the yellow one in there as well. I will say that of all the palettes, this yellow in here feels a bit chalky and it's not as vibrant as I'd like for it to be. This was the only palette that I felt like I could of done without. I love the color story of this one, but I just wasn't a huge fan of that yellow shade. Although it did look pretty on the lid, you guys will see. I just feel like it was a bit chalky. And then we have La Belle of the Ball. This one is a nod to the sisters in the game. You know, they have the little um, shop that they have their designs at. I'm sorry if you guys sound like I'm geeking out over this, but if you're watching this review, you probably know. I just love that I'm actually, I finally like know a collection. I feel like there's been so many that I'm like, I've never seen that movie. Or I've never watched that, The Mandalorian, things like that. So I'm like, I know all about this. But this one here is a very gorgeous purple palette. I love the tones in here. And I will say that the um, glitter shade in here isn't as glittery as the other ones. It still has those particles to it, but it's not as glittery as the rest of the palettes. Okay, and then the last one out of the quads is the Nook Ink Palette. This is the one that I do have on my eyes. It's a really pretty, fun green palette. I really like this one a lot. This shimmer right here feels a little dry in the pan, but it's so, so pretty on the eyes. As you can tell, that's like my main color. I do have a little bit of the glitter shade in my inner corner, but I thought this one was really, really fun. I love the color story. So this is probably, I think, my favorite out of um, all of them, but I really like this one, and then I also really liked the purple one as well. Quality-wise, I think all four of them are fine. Like I said, the only shade that I like wasn't in love with was the Islands, or this one is called Isabel in this palette right here. I just didn't love that yellow. I thought it was a little chalky, but it did look good on the eyes. So just keep that in mind. That's the only one that I kind of was like meh about. Next in the collection, we have two different blushes. These are their pressed blush formula. The first one is Flower Tender right here. They have a little flower emblem in them, which is really pretty. Next, we have Flower Power. This one is a little bit more of that like cool toned purple shade. I did give them a swatch so you guys could see. I also show you application here in a second. They both do have a luminosity to them. I really like the pressed blush formula. I feel like they're easy, nice and blendable, and I feel like they're kind of sheer, so I feel like that you can build them up quite a bit. They're not overly pigmented. The Super Shock is fun. It's called Balloon Pop, so you know in the game where you can pop the balloons in the air with your slingshot. So here is what the packaging on this one looks like. It has the little leaf there, which is fun. 
I'll go ahead and give this one a swatch. I didn't get to use this in the tutorial, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then the Glitterly Obsessed is called Billionaire, which I think is so fun as well. Here's what that one looks like. It has the star on the top, but I will swatch it so you guys can see what it looks like. So there is what the shade looks like. I think it goes really well with the theme. Lastly, a part of the collection, we have just a tint lip tint. So there are three different bundles of these. These are probably my favorite from the collection. They actually smell like the fruits, which I thought was a nice touch to these. They're little minis, so they're not as big as the normal ones but they do come in a duo. So I'll go ahead and swatch the duos. I also do a lip swatch with these in a minute as well. If you've never tried this formula before, it's kind of like a lip balm, but it's a little more hydrating and it has a little bit more color payoff. I really like these, I think it's a cool formula. So this one here is called the Pick of the Bunch. So here are the two shades. These are supposed to be the fruit themed of the game. So we have the coconut one right here and then the pear right here. Next duo is called Fruit Roots, and then we have two different ones in here. They are not swatching great because I feel like this glitter is kind of messing them up a little bit. But then here we have the orange and then also the peach. And then lastly, we have Fruit Basket. This one has the cherry and then also the apple in it. And again, they smell so yummy. And I will show you lip swatches of each color individually. Okay, so that is a rundown of the collection, swatches on everything, but let's go ahead and get into the application. We're first gonna start with the label of the ball. This one is so cute. It's the purple palette. I love purple, so I'm excited to try this one out. So first I'm gonna go in with the shade Taylor's Ticket right here. And I'm grabbing this on a ColourPop brush. I'm gonna be using all their brushes, this the E2 brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and just work this shade onto my crease. I don't have any foundation or anything on yet, so I'm not really worried too much about fallout. The shade is definitely one of their like lighter pastel shades, and it definitely has some glitter reflex in it, but we'll see if we can kind of build it up here. Deepen that up, I'm gonna go in with Serene Sable right here, same brush. And I'm going to start to just tap that and then kind of bring it into the purple, lightly just like dusting it. I'm gonna bring a little bit more in here. I wanna use each of the colors from the quad, so we're gonna to try to do that with the looks. So those two together actually, really nice combination. And then I'm gonna use the custom design shade right here. And this is a really pretty like duochrome shade. I'm going to put this one here on my lid, my finger. Ooh, that is like a pretty reflect to it. It has like the hint of like blue, but it still has like that purple. That one's really cool. And then I'm actually going to go into the Able Sister shade, which is the more chunkier glitter shade. And I'm going to use this shade for my inner corner. So we kind of gradiated between all of the colors there. I actually think that looks pretty good. I'm not gonna do anything on the lower lash line because I kind of just wanna show you guys like what you can do with this palette. So that's one look with the purple palette. So I think it turned out cute. So let's go ahead and do another look on the other eye. I'm gonna do this one next, which is a, what a hoot. What I like about quads is how easy they are. Like that look just took two seconds to do. So that part is nice. Now I'm just gonna use the same brush. I only used one brush to do the last look, so that's helpful. We're gonna go in, and I'm gonna start with the shade Celestial right here, and work this shade into my crease. I love these like orange tone shades. They are my favorite. Okay, so just building that up a little bit into my crease. Once you've got that where we want it, I'm gonna take the shade Who right here, and that same brush, I'm just gonna kind of build this up the same way we did with the other eye on the outer corner so to kind of tap it and then start to blend it in i'm going to start to blend that in until it's gradient and then we're going to go in with all flutter right here this is a really pretty copper shade and i'm going to do kind of the same concept with all the eyes so patting this here in the middle that looks really pretty and then i'm going to grab the glitter shade which is meteor shower and I'm gonna add that to the inner portion of the lid. So this glitter is definitely a little bit more chunky than the other one, um, but both these eye looks I feel like turned out super cute. Their glitters are okay, but they're not like my favorite. I don't love using them just because I feel like they're messy. You guys will see that when I remove this, but 
both these looks I thought it turned out really cute quality seems really nice and neat so let's go ahead and try out the other two palettes same e2 brush I'm gonna start actually with the shade island tune right here and I'm going to begin to ease the shade I feel like this pink isn't something I see a ton in Colourpop it's kind of like I don't know it's a little bit more pinky than I'm used to I feel like they do a lot of like peachy tones I really like the color of this one I feel like this one would be perfect for Valentine's Day this quad can't wait to see how the look turns out love that shade that was so easy okay and now we're gonna go into the shade resident rep right here this one has a lot of sparkle to it but I think it's like one of those mattes that's not as sparkly on the lid yeah like once you apply it the sparkle almost like you can see it a little bit but it's not as like sparkly as you would think so just kind of running this shade all over my crease so that actually looks really cool and then now we're gonna go in with the shade Island designer and I'm gonna pick this up with my fingers this is kind of like one of those chunkier glitter shades again tapping this on my lid it's actually really pretty and then we're gonna go in to the shade Isabel I'm actually gonna grab that on my finger as well and that's the yellow shade we're gonna use that for the inner corner that one kind of has like a little bit more of a chalkier like a chalkiness to it I don't love them when they do that formula because it's kind of like it's such a sheer like when I want like a shimmer I'm expecting it to be more like foiled like it looks fine on the lid but it's not as foiled as I thought it was gonna be I actually think it kind of looks cool how it like gradiates so that one there was the five star island and then we're gonna try out this one I'm most excited to try out this is the nook ink keeping it going with the same brush I'm gonna go in to the shade made in shade right here and we're gonna use that all over our lid forgetting which eye I'm working on here and I'm just gonna start to kind of work this back and forth this one again has those glitters but they're kind of just blending away once you start blending I'm really having to build this one up it's a little bit more of a sheer matte so keep that in mind but I think it's looking nice on the eye deepening that up we're gonna go into a water landing right here this one is a really nice like four screen shade yeah I can't wait to see how this looks on the eye so I'm kind of like focusing everything here on the outer corner and then I'm gonna start to blend it in a bit like deeper than I thought it was gonna be but it looks nice with the other one and then we're gonna go in to the shade I think we're gonna do yes 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 right here and we're gonna use this yeah so this one also seems a little bit um, chalky but it's a little more you can tell from the swatch glittery yeah that one is pretty Ooh, I like that color that one I like a lot and then we're gonna go into a CEO which is the um, the last shade the glitter shade in the palette and we're gonna use this shade for our inner corner highlight right here and kind of just work that in a little bit right there so pretty okay I love both these eye looks is probably like I like these two I think the best I don't know I like the other two too the way they came out but I like something about this blue eye I just feel like it looks so pretty so okay I'm gonna go ahead and wash this one off I think I'm gonna keep this as the look and then we'll try out the rest of the product now we're gonna go ahead and try out the two different blushes so on the one side we're gonna go ahead and do a flower power right here on this side I'm grabbing it on a Colourpop F29 I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this directly to the apples and then taking flower tender here on the other side so you can see both of them you can see the difference between the two this one is obviously more peachy and then this one's a little bit more pink purple I think if I was choosing I think I would choose this one but I like the way they both look okay now we're gonna do the lip tints so first we have the fruit roots and this one has two different shades in here the first one is peach surprise I love this formula it's so hydrating and nice on the lips so there is that shade right there this one again it's called peach surprise actually smells like peaches almost <laughs> okay and then we have orange cutie up next I didn't realize this but this one smells like oranges so they smell like they're correlating fruit I love that this color is really cute too then we have a pick of the bunch this one has incomparable 
Smells again really good. This one is a really pretty nude shade. I love that a lot. Okay, and then we have coconut juice. What's so nice about these and the formula is how nice and easy they are to apply as well. And then we have Fruit Basket as the last duo. First up we have Juicy Apple. Just can't get over the smells on these. They smell so good. Like this color a lot. Okay, and then we have Cherry Cherry as well. And there is Cherry Cherry. So that again is the Fruit Basket, which is the last lip duo. Okay, so that is basically a wrap up of the entire ColourPop Times Animal Crossing collection. You guys will have to let me know down below what you think of this collection. Are you excited about it? Do you play Animal Crossing? I'm gonna leave my dream code down below in case you guys wanna visit my island. I will warn you, it's a mess. I haven't actually played it in a while. So I know there's weeds everywhere. It's quite a mess, but I have a Sephora. I have lots of little shops. It's a cute little island. So I'll leave my dream code in case you guys wanna check it out and let me know yours in case you want me to visit your island. Hopefully with me getting this review up early, it helped you kind of make up your mind on this collection. I am excited about it. I feel like I liked the majority of the products. The only con I have with it is the glitters. I just wish these didn't have glitters in them just because I feel like glitters are just messy. That's the only thing. Um, but the blushes were really pretty. I love the lip tints. Those are probably my favorite from the collection. The glittery obsessed. I'm not going to use that because I don't love that formula. But everything else I feel like was great. The super shock was really pretty. So yeah, I would approve this collection as long as you know that you are getting the glitters. That's the only thing. But aside from that, I think it's great. I think it's fun. I think it's different. And I'm excited about it. So again, I'll have all the links down below as soon as this goes live. I know as I'm filming this, it's not up yet. But when it does go live, I'll put the links down there for you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.